Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday, June 23rd, 2024, and we are in Berks County, Pennsylvania, in between uh, the towns of Auburn and Port Clinton. Uh, we're looking at the Schuylkill River right now, so if you would continue to take the Schuylkill uh, down south, it would take you into Port Clinton, follow the Schuylkill north, it takes you to Auburn. Um, stumbled upon something today that I had no idea was here. I just took a drive down a road and I ended up at some state game lands and then there was a trail that I followed and it led me to the river. So I thought, well, let's follow the river for a little bit. And back in 1821, the Schuylkill navigation system was being built and operated along the Schuylkill River. And the Schuylkill navigation system was a, was a canal and a slack water navigation system. Now, I know very, very, very little about the Schuylkill Canal, but what I do know is that on my walk today, I have come across a lock, and I do not know what lock number this would have been. Again, I am very, very uneducated when it comes to the Schuylkill navigation system, or any canals for that matter. But I do know that this is the original anthracite hauler in this area, before the Redding, before the Pensy, before the Mine Hill and Schuylkill Haven, before all those railroads were here, you had the Schuylkill Canal. Uh, and I believe it originated in Pottsville, or just up in that area, and it ran all the way to Philadelphia. And it was to haul anthracite originally, that was what it was uh, intended for. And then as time went by, it became Well, it became obsolete and trains took over just like uh, trucks took over for trains in the 50s and trains took over for the canals in the 18, 1840s 1850s they were really starting to push them out so again i don't have any historical uh, information to offer on this while we're doing this walkthrough what i will do is i will try to research as best as I can what canal lock this may be and I will add it in the description below but this is also the first Schuylkill Canal lock that I have ever found in the wild and I didn't even know that there were any intact up this far so this is really really cool I believe this would have been, if I'm using the terminology right, an, an exiting lock because this goes out into the river. So your canal boats would have been off river uh, north of this section. They would have been in the canal prism. And then uh, there must have been a dam downstream to raise the water. And then you would have, you would have had slack water for your canal boat. Still got some wood here, that's cool. Um, if you're asking the question, should I be here? My answer is I don't know. I can tell you this much. All the trail that I walked to get to this spot had zero posted signs on it. So that's all I have to say about that. I've yet to see any posted signs in the area. And again, my disclaimer, I do not mean any harm. I only wish to satisfy curiosities. Check out these holes in the stones. That's cool. So yeah, 1821, I believe, is when it went into operation. So is that what we're looking at here? Are we looking at stonework from the 1820s? Over 200 years old. That's pretty cool if you think about it. 
it is buggy in here but well worth it Some old iron right there. All right, folks, there you have it. It's Google Navigation System Lock question mark. I will do my best to figure out exactly where this is or what this is. Well, we know it's a, a lock, but I'll try to figure out which number it is. You know what? We'll keep rolling. through it. There's another piece of iron up there. I'm sorry. And if any of you are familiar with the uh, Schuylkill Navigation System, I would love to hear anything you have to offer. Um, like I said, all the canals are tough for me to figure out stuff. Lehigh Canal is a little easier. It's been so well preserved. Uh, Schuylkill Canal, not so much up this way. Sorry, I'm all over the place. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk back down along the, uh, the riverbank back to uh, the trail to get to my car. And I'll see if there's any signs of a dam down this way that may have been removed years ago. Uh, it would have caused some slack water to build up here. So, okay, wrapping it up this time. Schuylkill Navigation System Canal. Not sure which number it is, but I will try to figure it out, and I'll let you know. All right, folks, talk to you later.